right, so I'm detecting along here on the edge and check out what I just... <laughs> see a little piece of history right before our eyes you and me digging here and searching there find the treasures everywhere we'll spend the day like gypsies being free come with me on this beautiful day find pieces of the past in this journey of today hey friends Gypsy here with Zero Discrimination. Um, I'm down by a creek today. I'm in a suburban area. Um, There's like an apartment complex back this way and actually behind, right directly behind me, some uh, um, like a bank and, and shopping center. So um, there's probably a lot of modern trash, but this creek flows all the way down into an older part of of the first settlement. Uh, I've never explored or hunted this side, so I thought today I'll do a little exploring. I may not find anything, but I brought my Garrett AT Max, Maxine, about to turn her on, and uh, kind of explore around here and see what I can find. Um, I'll turn the camera back on as soon as I find something, and uh, keep you posted. All right, so got my first signal, and I just got this. It looks like a little modern piece of brass. It's got some threading in there. I'm not sure what it went to, but uh, very first find. The creek is down here. Uh, I'm about to find a low spot and probably get down there and maybe hunt a little in the creek. May just be modern trash, but it's always worth checking out. You never know what you're gonna find, right? So let's go see what else we can find. All right, so now I'm down by the creek. Uh, just saw some fish swim by, some pretty large fish at that. But you can see where the rock has kind of eroded away. We've been finding little pieces of fossils all through here. So uh, I'll probably show you some of the fossils that we find later. I'm here with my dad and my oldest son. And uh, my son went off to go uh, look for fossils or something. Uh, but we're gonna come along with me for a minute. And um, there was a signal over here I got, but I don't have my big shovel with me pretty scratchy probably iron we might do it dig it later but right now we're gonna skip it uh, I've seen some aluminum cans so there's gonna be a lot of trash like that but we're gonna explore a little more down here and uh, see what we can find all right so I'm detecting along here on the edge and check out what I just found I haven't picked it up I tried to get it out, but look down here. This is part of an old cephalopod. We've got this would have went right on top of this in the mud. It's broken off. That is part of the imprint of the cephalopod right here. Look, there's even another fossil, part of a shell. But look at this. Oh my gosh. I wish we had the whole thing. Oh, look at it, Dad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's rinse it off. Oh, it's heavy. We might be able to break this part off later when we get home, but I am so excited about this fossil here. Let's get out of here. Isn't that neat, Dad? Oh my gosh, it's broken right in two. I wonder if the rest of it is right there. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm going to kind of dig down in here and see if the rest of it's in here. But that is an awesome piece, an awesome uh, fossil. I'm so excited. We'll see you in a minute. All right, so I'm probably going to end up digging this anyway, but there is a root there. But my son just walked up and he found this. Now it could be just layers, but it's really interesting the way it's layered in there almost looks like a piece of a mammoth tooth. I don't know if you've ever seen part of a mammoth tooth and I may be totally wrong. Um, it's got a little weight to it. Um, very interesting. I don't know, what do you think? Just a rock. Not far from that cephalopod, it's got this signal, got this big old iron piece in the 
in the water. It's been in there for a long time, as you can tell, but uh, very heavy. I'll keep it and uh, maybe later do some electrolysis on it or something. Uh, if anything, I'll throw it in with scrap iron and, oh. and sell it with a bunch of scrap iron I have. So uh, we'll see you on the next. Oh. You gotta look up in here too, the layers and layers, years and layers. Uh, you can sometimes find fossils right up in here. No signals yet. A little piece of iron right there. Another piece of iron right here. All right, folks, detecting along here and um, it's turning more into a fossil hunt than it is into a, um, a metal detecting hunt because I'm detecting along and I'm looking over here in the banks and check out, I laid my pinpointer here so you can see it. Can you see the cephalopod embedded in the rock? I might have to come back with a um, rock hammer to chisel all this out and see if I can get that out. But that is a beauty. I uh, found a, a second one after that first one you saw. I'll show you later uh, in the wrap-up or whatever. But um, there's just fossils everywhere here. Let me show you. There's shells. And uh, if you look, look, here's the devil's toenail right here. But look here. Look at those gastropods everywhere in here. Some of them you can pop out easy. Look at that. Creatures that lived long, long ago. There's another one. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, Colin, we might have to get the rock hammer and get this one out. Um, anyway, just look in here. There's fossils everywhere. I'm trying to find some more gastropods. Here's a, another shellfish shell. Look at this big piece here. Oh, wow. Those are, there's just tons of them. And then here's some more um, devil's toenails, but there is gastropods everywhere in here. Oh, uh, there's another one right here. Here's another one right here. I don't know what they're finding. They're oohing and on over there, so I may have to go check that out. But they don't want to be on camera, so. Um, <laughs> well, all right. I will let you know what else we find. And um, oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, that's huge beautiful specimen okay um i'll get back with you and uh let you know what else we find all right folks so i just came from down there was detecting in the water it got too deep here just went over my boots i got water in my boots i did have my waders in the car but i didn't think i'd need it need it but over here i'm on the bank and there's huge gorge here where the water has washed all this out so my son and my dad are down there crossing. I'm going to come over here and look for fossils. But look where this whole piece has fallen. I see a giant cephalopod right over there. Oh my gosh. But anyway, sorry, uh, squirrel. <laughs> I just found this gastropod right here. And I see all kinds of fossilized clams, whole clams, gastropods, all kinds of It's just rich in fossils. And let me see if that's a clam or... Almost looks like a sea urchin is on there. I'll take this one with me. Um, but I can't stay too much longer. My feet were... I'm going to have to empty my boots. Um, 
they are uh, full of water, but let's see if I can get to that gastropod. We might, I mean, uh, cephalopod. Now, folks, uh, those of you that are watching, those of you that know your fossils, when I say cephalopod, uh, cephalopod was a squid-like creature that lived millions of years ago. Um, here we go. And it would, it was like a spiral. And the spiral would spiral around and the front top part of it had these little tentacles that would go down. So when I use cephalopod, it uh, covers a lot, broad spectrum. There were different species. So there's a specific species and a scientific name for this particular fossil, but cep cephalopod is kind of broad. Um, oh, I see part of an old speaker down there. My detector is back over there. Uh, I'm going to get them to come down here. I think they're still trying to find a place to cross. Uh, but that, that cephalopod didn't go in anywhere, so uh, we may have to make a trip home, go get the um, I don't have a, actually have a rock hammer. I have a hammer similar. Um, let's see if we can go get a hammer and chisel and come out here and try to get these cephalopods out of here. Um, but this should be rich and this looks like it's fallen not all that long ago right here. And, uh, probably when that last, uh, flood and rain we had. And the tree has fallen. Uh, so, not all that long ago. So, I'm going to explore here. See if I can find any more really cool fossils. Wait for them to get down. I don't know if you can see how high this is. It's at least... Uh, 12 foot? 14 feet, maybe? I don't know. Or maybe a little higher than that. Uh, I'm already wet, so this ain't gonna matter. Try to get to the most shallow part over here. Sorry, I don't have my camera on a tripod to hold it still. Let's see here. Get that. Is that a rock? A stone? I think it is. Oh, that's big. When is that wood? I'll see. Investigate that more when they get over here. Alright, so uh, my detector is back this way. Uh, back around the bin there. I just started, left my detector there after I found that one thing. And uh, just walking along here and looking at fossils and all this neat stuff that has fallen. And uh, my dad and my son are up there. And uh, it's just, this is just so cool. Uh, we have found some really neat stuff. And uh, it looks like we're definitely going to have to come back with the rock hammer. And uh, see what we can do. But, uh, this has been quite the adventure. Whoa, almost fell. <laughs> these boots are hard to walk in on these rocks in this water. So, uh, I'm going to hike up here. Walk this way and, um, grab my detector. Maybe detect a little bit more. And then I think we're going to head back. All right, time for the wrap-up. This is what I ended up bringing home. Um... What started out as a metal detecting ex exploration on the creek turned into be a fossil frenzy. Um, so this is what I wound up with. This was the big iron thing I found in the creek um, along with some stuff beside the creek. And um, then uh, my take home fossils. So I got uh, gastropods and, and clams or they're fossilized clams. Um, this is a different type of clam species here. They look very similar to oysters, but as you can tell, they are different. And then, uh, as for my favorite finds, I um, the cephalopod 
Again, uh, what I was trying to uh, say in the video, uh, cephalopods exist today, but these are ancient. Oh, my kitten is coming to uh, join us. She's playing with a little lid. Sorry about that. But this uh, would be a fossilized um, cephalopod. It's a squid-like creature. Um, and then um, this right here is the imprint of the cephalopod that went right here uh, when I was fir first found it. And then um, this right here is a giant shell. You can see part of the shell on there. Anyway, I had a blast, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And this is the piece that my son found. Still not sure about that. Um, but there have been mammoth teeth found in the area. So, um, all right. Fossilized mammal te mammoth teeth. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, please click that like button. Like and subscribe. And... Um, we will see you all on the next.